Minutes away from the draw from third round of the FA Cup. Tamworth, of course, they're in the hat. The conference side caused the biggest upset of the second round. They beat Hartlepool 2-1. Chester are also in the draw after a 3-0 win against Nottingham Forest. Hartlepool had early chances, but after 33 minutes, they were hit on the break by Tamworth, a side who was struggling in the lower reaches of the conference. Carl Storer's cross wasn't cleared, and Jake Edwards, on loan from Exeter City, put them ahead. Early in the second half, Matthew Redmar made it 2-0, and the upset was on. Hartlepool, though, were back in the game moments later when Darren Williams was brought down, winning a penalty with plenty of time left. Chris Llewellyn made it 2-1 from the spot. But Hartlepool never really threatened after that, and Tamworth were able to hold on until the final whistle. We've had a tough run, obviously, uh, Bournemouth away and, and Hartlepool away. So, um... Yeah, I mean, we are better away from home at the minute, so we're looking forward to the draw and uh, hope it's an away one, a big one. And the other big upset, Chester, but... ...dreaming of meeting Premiership opposition. Phil Edwards, Sky Sports. So, Tamworth in the third round draw, and so to Chester City, who saw off Nottingham Forest. Away from the draw, I must admit, I, like many other people yesterday, didn't know much about Tamworth today. I know all about them because they're in the third round draw for the first time in their history. They beat Hartlepool, and Steve Lee is right in the thick of all the Tamworth faithful. Steve. Well, you, you can hear the noise. The uh, expectancy levels, or is it the lager levels, are getting higher here, and uh, they're all waiting for the draw. And with me now is Richard Dryden, the assistant manager of Tamworth. Richard, nervous? Um, excited. Excited. Who's, uh, who, who's your money on? Who do you think you might get? Uh, we just want a big club. You know, we've worked hard to get this far in the cup so far, and you know, we just want something in the top two leagues, maybe away from home. You know, all the staff can have a day off, come and watch a game. That'll be ideal for us. At the start of the season, you surely couldn't have expected anything quite like this, really. No, not really. You know, we've had three, three really hard times: Altingham, and then obviously Bournemouth and Hartlepool, and obviously. The last two games have been unbelievable. You know, the fans we've got took great support away yesterday. They've all come down today, and hopefully we're going to get a good draw. Yeah, I mean it's amazing, really. You're third bottom of the conference, and yet you've been putting away league sides. So, what's the secret? I don't know. Um, you look at some results. We've been unlucky in some. Um, we could take. We should be. I think we're in a false position. We've got a small squad, and, and sometimes we struggle to get players on the pitch. But hopefully by the end of the season we're up the table a bit more and see how, how far we can go in the FA Cup. I suppose Chelsea, Arsenal, Manchester United, these are the, the, the dream ties that you're, you're thinking about. Well, every, every club in the lower leagues wants want a dream tie like that, and there's only some people who are going to get it, so, so fingers crossed. OK, so, uh, Hunch, who do you think it's going to be? I mean, you, you, you can't hope for... Well, you'll hope for Manchester United. Well, you hope, you always hope, but um, I was talking to Mark before the game. We woke up Friday morning. Um, in hotel, Saturday morning in hotel, and he said, I dreamt we are going to get Everton away. Oh, well, we so, see. anything Richard, like that will be great. That's great, thanks. Well, that's it from Tamworth for the time being. We'll be uh, monitoring the uh, reaction to the draw, which is coming up in just a few minutes. Now back to the studio. You're absolutely right, Steve. The magic ball for Tamworth is number 50. We will look out for that. Now, one game in progress right at the... Tamworth, who had a wonderful day yesterday, they beat Hartlepool. In round three, the round three draw for the first time in their history, they are number 50. Now, of course, if you're Tamworth, if you're Keith Curls Chester, you maybe want a biggie. And there are no biggies in the ones uh, in that table there. Arsenal are number one. Jose Mourinho's Chelsea are number 10. Liverpool, with Peter Crouch at last finding the net, <laughs> they're number 21. Manchester United, who had a very, very convincing victory over managerless Portsmouth in the Premiership yesterday at Old Trafford. They are number 24. Portsmouth, who are without a manager at the moment. And Harry Redknapp in limbo. He still has not been approached by Southampton. So they are managerless. It would be Joe Jordan at this stage who would remain in charge. They are number 30. And who's to say... Portsmouth wouldn't draw their great South Coast rivals, Southampton, who are number 36. Now, Jim, they have a rehearsal always for these draws. And in the rehearsal, I can tell you that Chelsea didn't draw Tamworth. They drew Brighton at home. That was the rehearsal. It was Chelsea against Brighton. So many of these sides. You look through uh, the Wokings, the Northwich Victorias and others, all looking 
for Chelsea, it must be said. They're very much the team of the moment, aren't they, for these lower Ab league clubs? Absolutely. Everybody wants Chelsea, and they want them at Stamford Bridge for a, a big, big payday. Chelsea, number 10. So, Manchester City are number 23. Elsewhere, we have a few other biggies to tell you about. Charlton Athletic are number 9. These are just alongside some other ones that you're seeing there. West Ham United, who play Birmingham tomorrow, they're number 42. Wigan Athletic, going so well under Paul Jewell, are number 43. And let's get to the draw for the third round of the FA Cup. We're about to get going, and let's get to Soho Square, the headquarters of the FA. Good afternoon and welcome to this always thrilling moment in the FA Cup season, the entry of the big clubs into a competition that began back in the sunshine of last August for hundreds of their more modest counterparts. And so the likes of Tamworth of the Nationwide Conference and Torquay, currently 92nd in the Football League, are dreaming of drawing Chelsea or will it be Arsenal or Liverpool or Manchester United? Will their dreams come true? Well, Peter Osgood, an FA Cup winner with Chelsea in 1970 and Southampton in 76, and Jim Montgomery, who famously won with uh, Sunderland in 1973, they have those dreams in their hands as we celebrate this 125th FA Cup competition. I'm going to ask Peter to deposit every one of the 64 balls from the famous velvet bag into the bowl. And he's checking right at the bottom to see there's not one there. There isn't. And I'm going to ask him, him to draw the uh, home teams and Jim the away teams. We're on our way. Number 41. And number 41, that is West Bromwich Albion and Brian Robson at home at the Hawthorns. Number 33. We'll play Reading, top of the championship. Number 16. Number 16, Fulham are at home. 57. To number 57, and that's Late Orient of League Two. Oh, local derby. Number six. Number six, Peter, is Brighton and Hove Albion. Number 11. Will be at home to Coventry City. Brighton at home at the With Dean to Coventry City. 44. Number 44 is Wolverhampton Wanderers and Glen Hoddles at home. Number 29. To number 29, Plymouth Argyle. 55. 55, Port Vale or Bristol Rovers, who replay on Tuesday week. Number 56. We'll play number 56, and that's Boston United or Doncaster Rovers, who are playing at this moment. 35. 35, 35 is Sheffield Wednesday at home at Hillsborough. To number 9. To number 9, and that's Charlton Athletic. 62. 62 is Torquay United, 92nd in the Football League. To number three. Ooh. At home to Birmingham City. Oh, Torquay nice. against Birmingham. 23. 23, Manchester City. <laughs> number 48. Will be at home to 48, and that's Scunthorpe United of League One. 27. 27, Newcastle United, and how much they would love to win the cup after 40 years. Number 52. Will be at home to Mansfield Town, the 89th club in the Football League. 22. 22 is Luton Town. <coughs> Number 21. Will be at home to the champions of Europe, Liverpool. 31. 31 is Preston North End at home. To Number 12. To number 12, Jim, and that's Crew Alexandra. 37. 37 is Stoke City. 50. Stoke will be at home to Tamworth. Stoke against Tamworth. Number 14. 14. 14 is Dar